We are off in the red machine, Santa Sleigh, upgraded 2022 model. And so we're calling for backup. Apparently I'm driving it harder than last time. She's not shifted now. So hopefully that didn't ruin this thing. How much is this thing worth? Uh, all parts, 2300. Coach Greg, and I'm here with a good buddy of mine, Chad Horton, and we spent the day together in New Glasgow test driving these really cool vehicles. What yes. What are they? 1970s era, completely restored Toyota Land Cruisers. They're worth like $300,000. They're absolutely incredible. And so we're lucky to go. Absolutely. Completely blueprinted, original, built from the ground up by a bunch of passionate professionals. And so the place we went to, it was Bespoke Motor Company. And it was absolutely amazing. In particular, we saw two really cool cars. Absolutely. We had the Army Green uh, BMC, that's Bespoke Motor Company, survivalist, uh, manual transmission. Greg got to drive it around. And it was a standard, and I was nervous. I hadn't driven a standard in like 15 years, and I actually broke it while driving. Yeah, we slipped it. Uh, we slipped it out of gear and had some trouble getting it back in. We needed some help from the technician. At the graveyard, where all the old vehicles go to die, and then they get resurrected. <laughs> and so, look at all these old vehicles from like I don't know, like the 80s, well, we 70s, Broncos. Toyota Land Cruisers and Bronco Ones from the early 80s. And so if you're a car enthusiast, I'm sure you'd love to see all this stuff. So this is what, it's 1972, right? 1972. 1972 with all the new technology added to it. 1972 Toyota Land Cruiser. So we trade this for the uh, G-Wagon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. All right, so far I passed. <laughs> all right, here's around the town. What do you think, Greg? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I could drive it. I was a little nervous. I'm like, uh, 15 years standard? Uh, let's see. And so we're calling for backup. Apparently I'm driving it harder than last time. She's not shifted now. So hopefully I didn't ruin this thing. <laughs> How much is this thing worth? Uh, ballpark 250, 300. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully she works. And so Allie goes, I hope you're not driving. And I'm thinking, well, does it look like I'm driving? But not now. Should I have driven? <laughs> we're not sure. You, you were, you were driving. It, based on what you saw, I was doing well, am I right? He was doing well. And it's a standard, I haven't driven forever. And no. it was it was going great. No, it was going, it was going no really well. No crashes, I was fine, no but, but we just stopped and we were, we were waiting for- the speed limit? Well, for the most part. For the most part, the speed limits were followed. Driving so responsible. Yeah, so Ali, I'm, I'm on my best behavior. I'm not doing anything wrong. So what exactly happened here? What, what, what went wrong? So what happened is with the double stick transfer case, the uh, boots are still new to us as well. And uh, that one was a little tight. So what happens when you're coming onto the throttle a little bit and everything shifts, it just pulled the stick back into neutral. No big deal. We just undid a couple bolts on the boot so it can move freely. We're going to redesign that and uh, popped her back in here and you're on the road again. All right, we're back on the road. So we're the first ones to ever test drive this. They just finished building this. And they're like, Coach Gray, you want to come and test drive this? I'm like, of course I do. More power than last time. And so the immediate reaction to me was, I really like the red truck and you like the green one. Yeah, yeah. So the red truck was the BMC Urban Warrior. 
great name. That was a uh, turbo diesel. And yeah, it felt like I was driving a bus. It sounded like a bus, but it's just a really compact car and it just felt really cool. And one thing we did was we delivered Christmas presents to the big brothers and big sisters. I was dressed up as Santa. He was my elf. And so we get out of the vehicle. And there's a group of people. I mean, these vehicles, they look absolutely amazing. Any person that sees it is going to be drawn to it. And they're like, what are you guys like Santa Claus? And I'm like, Santa Claus just updated his sleigh. It's 2022. <laughs> no, use a sleigh. We got the freaking best truck in the world. It was absolutely Absolutely phenomenal. We are off in the red machine, Santa Sleigh, upgraded 2022 model. It's got 0.4 kilometers on the odometer. It feels like driving a bus. Sounds cool. Oh, I love that sound. Like, imagine what the people looking at this vehicle, because the red is just so bright. Like, yeah. it's just... Well, I was thinking more of the huge guy in the Santa suit driving the, uh, <laughs> with a, with a cart full of toys in the back. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're arriving at our destination. Have a Merry Christmas. And so in the shop, we revved it up to only about five or 6,000 RPM, and it sounded absolutely incredible. Absolutely, absolutely. The exhaust note on these things were, <laughs> they were so loud. It was, it was awesome. Keep it at six, okay. well, what's six. that sound like? And before we even left the building, he's backing up the vehicle and it grabbed the hold of that, what was that ramp Oh thing? yeah, the ramp. Shot the ramp right across the like, floor. <laughs> scary didn't wreck anything but i was like i'm not backing out of there it's a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle i don't want to have to pay for it that's a lot of freaking cookbooks i'd have to sell <laughs> and so in comparing the two vehicles the green one it was cooler to drive with the stick shift it's fun you accelerate you really hear it it's a lot of fun but for me personally i like the look of the red one better it's kind of like a work of art absolutely art pieces totally bespoke custom-made art piece like it's the kind of thing i want to park in my living room and just look at it like the paint job top bottom side to side it's unreal if you're a car enthusiast these vehicles are so unique you simply have to see it to really appreciate it seeing it in person mind-blowing absolutely completely one of a kind you buy one of these vehicles nobody else is going to have anything remotely similar and and more horsepower than last time the new upcoming models are going to have 6.2 liter V8 brand new Corvette engines with over 500 horsepower. And so these guys were saying, oh, thank you so much for showing up and doing this. And I'm thinking, I get to drive these things <laughs> for free. Like they felt I was doing them a favor to do it. I'm like, I just want to drive the car. It Absolutely. was a lot of fun. And in fact, the red BMC Urban Warrior had 0.2 kilometers on the odometer was, when we took yeah, it out of the shop. 0 0.2, like no one's driven it. And they're getting <laughs> Coach Greg to drive it. I'm like, yeah. are they sure they want me driving First it? First person to ever drive it. that vehicle. And so Chad was like, I've been driven a standard in 20 years i'm like well it's been 15 years for me okay you drive it i'm like okay but it actually drove really easy it was a lot of fun and yeah and and absolutely excellent sound systems party mode they have lights inside i was like why didn't i get the party mode on the lights are flicking and flashing and it's like yeah let's have a good time and so overall a great experience spent a day together test driving these vehicles lots of fun and guess what got home about seven o'clock at night Headed off to the gym. Somebody wrote me a question. Oh, didn't get to the gym today, did ya? Wrong. Trained until about 9.30 and then watched, of course, the Mr. Olympia, of which I've been watching today, recording videos. And so like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, click the bell button. Don't forget to watch two bloops are right around his face over here. Watch <laughs> at least one. And remember, Coach Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. Do it now. Follow me on Instagram, Greg just said IP Pro. Also, the cookbooks, the coaching plans for me and my team, circle diet book, training books, everything you'd ever want, even a clothing company. Click the the link in the description and until next time we're out